All right, is everybody ready? For those of you that don't know, my name is Jeff Getting, G-E-T-T-I-N-G. -T -T I'm the Kalamazoo County Prosecuting Attorney. I'm here with Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Jeff Williams. We've just uh, concluded the pretrial conference in the People versus Jason Brian Dalton case. The pretrial conference is a meeting between the attorneys and the court to talk about issues in the case. Um, and identify those issues so that we can have a smooth process leading up to the trial in the matter. After discussing the uh, case with Mr. Solis and Judge Lipsy, who's been assigned to the case, um, we've set a new status conference date for August 15th, August 15th of 2015. In the meantime, 2016, excuse me, August 15th, 2016. In the meantime, the defense has indicated their intention to file a notice of intent to use insanity as a defense. By law, they file this notice and then the court will enter an order which requires the Center for Forensic Psychiatry to do an evaluation of the defendant. They have 60 days from the entry of the order to complete their evaluation, evaluation thus the August 15th date. Uh, the notice of intent has not yet been filed. But Mr. Solis has indicated in the court order coming out of the pretrial conference indicates that he will file that uh, notice within the next seven days. The Forensic Center will be looking now not at the same issues that they did with the competency evaluation. The competency evaluation looked at the defendant's ability to be proceeded against in court. In competency, we are asking, did he understand the nature of the proceedings against him? Was he able to assist his attorney in a rational manner. This will be focused on Mr. Dalton's actions on the night of February 20th, 2016. And the questions will be whether or not he was mentally ill, and if so, whether as a result of that mental illness, he was able to substantially conform his conduct to the law, or if he was unable to understand the, what's the language I want to use, the wrongfulness of his action. Be legally insane, the person must, because of mental illness, lack substantial capacity either to appreciate the nature and quality or the wrongfulness of his conduct or to conform his conduct to the requirements of the law. The Forensic Center will be responsible for making that determination. Once we have their report, we'll see where we go from there. It's possible that there would be then a second evaluation done by an independent examiner if requested either by the state or by the defense. Do you so have you any have questions? Go, so you have to go through at least two more steps before the insanity defense can be used, is that correct? At least one more step. Right now we have the their notice of intention to use insanity as a defense. The next step is for the Forensic Center to complete their evaluation. We could go from there to a trial, or we may end up having a second evaluation done if requested either by the state or by the defense. Well, if you, if that insanity defense stays, and if, 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 actually, if he actually is able to mount that, are you concerned getting this guy in front of a jury considering what he did during that prelim? I'm not concerned at all. I, I, I'm, I'm not concerned about how the, his actions would be interpreted. I'm not concerned for anybody's safety within the courtroom. Um.